Hey Golgatas, welcome to the channel once more. So today I am going to be talking to you about certain businesses that if you launch in Africa in this 2024, you are going to be making lots of money. If you've been here for some time, you would have noticed that we always encourage Africans to embark on productions. For it is the only way we Africans can actually help continents and also attain financial independence. Some time ago on the channel, we made a video letting you know of business sectors or businesses that that could never fail in Africa. And if you remember, one of them was a training center for youth. But today we will be targeting the core of what we mean by training centers. So there are certain domains that are still lacking in Africa, especially at the level of management, duty consciousness, total input, output, customer service, and many others. So today we are going to be looking at those business centers that you could actually invest your money in and be sure to make a good amount of money for yourself and at the same time help Africa as a whole. So these business ideas actually fall on the problem solving businesses to launch in Africa. So I strongly advise you watch this video till the end because I am going to be giving you a secret strategy of how to succeed a hundred percent in all these businesses. And that will be done with no signal on the screen. So it is going to be for my MVPs who always watch my video with keen interest. So you better not miss it out. All right. We are going to be diving into the details straight away and if you're new here my name is Elvin Jake and you're watching Africa Today. So the first training center I will be talking about here is a training center for house helps or what we commonly call house mates. The house help business is not new in Africa, but then there are certain problems that I have identified and I feel that if we as dynamic entrepreneurs step in to solve that problem, we are going to be making lots of money. So from my observation, the problem with the house help business in Africa is the fact that lots of house helps are hired informally. So what I mean by informally is the fact that you know someone who knows someone who knows someone who knows a girl somewhere that you can just go and pick and bring to your home to service you. And most time the terms are not clearly stated. Therefore, no contract is being signed, no formal agreements. Everything is just sealed with the mouth. So there's no concrete contract. Therefore, no binding laws or nothing for the worker to abide by. And at times no identification is even done because some of those have ourselves come to our homes and just start working without even us really knowing anything about them and without proper identification. Do you know that lots of people in Africa would let someone into their home to work without even having a copy of that person's ID card but we just know that we've hired someone to work and most times we just think that with the authority we are going to be exerting on them they are going to be obeying us or they are going to be scared of us which most times is not the case right and we know the consequences. Most times there are lots and lots of disagreements, more, lots and lots of unmet expectations, dozens of situations of unprofessionalism and rude behavior, mistreatment of kids and many more. So that is where you're going to be stepping in with your training center for house helps. And one thing you're obviously going to be needing is teachers, right? You need to recruit teachers or tutors to train your students and you are going to need to employ people from various fields of life, right? Right? You would need cooks, obviously, you would need psychologists, home economics teachers, and many more because they would need to be taught how to manage a home, how to cook, how to manage money, and many others. And you could as well employ an experienced house help, like an aged woman who has done that for years, let's say 20, 30 years. You could employ her services to also come and teach them from experience and many more. So there are lots of ways you could go about it. Like I say, you just need to be smart nowadays as an entrepreneur to always do something differently from the way people are used to doing it. That goes to say the best way to make money nowadays is to outstand in any existing business. I just feel at this point we the Africans should take the house help business seriously. If we take time to train and educate most people out there who are interested in doing that job, I believe the outcome is going to be better. And I can assure you that if you set up this business in Africa and take the right measures, you are going to be having lots of clients. Because the amount of employers that are complaining on a daily basis is enormous. A lot of people are ready to pay an extra something and have 
a professional house help who will come to do the job properly so with your training center you are basically going to be focusing on the professional and moral part of the house help business so basically what you're going to be doing in your center is obviously to train them professionally morally and maybe spiritually and whatever you may think of and then you are going to be leasing them out or giving them out for employment and once they are paid every month the payment is done to you and you in turn get your commission and pay them as your workers because they are working there for you there are a couple of people who've started this business and honestly it pays off if you just look at the amount of people who are often disappointed by untrained house helps you are going to notice that there is a huge market for trained house helps and even if they are adamant to train house helps thinking that it is expensive by the time they have those couple of disappointments they are obviously going to consider getting a trained house help because the truth is those who need house helps will always need them no matter how much they keep driving them because i will use the term driving them because most times those workers aren't hired formally so they aren't actually fired they are just driven away which most times is also an injustice because the advantage with this training center is the fact that not only you are protecting the employers you are also protecting the employees or the house helps that will be working there from your agency because when one hires a house help from a legal agency that person is most likely to treat that house help correctly because most times also at times the house helps are not the problem but the employer or the customers are the problem so you are going to be solving a problem on both sides and that goes to say that you are also going to be having a lot of clients because by the time most people notice that those who are registered in your agency are getting safer jobs and are respected at their job sites it's going to be as a plus for them to make sure they go through you and get trained professionally. You know, youths nowadays see life differently, all right? So I am pretty sure that lots of them are going to be adhering to such a system because they would understand at the same time that it protects them as well. So there are two ways you could be going about it. You have a training center, right? So you are going to be training your students as a whole, but I have a strategy for you that could work perfectly and enable you have more students. So so you are going to be coming up with a structure wherein you have an internal and an external option. So the internal students are those who are going to be trained and work under you as your agents. And the external students are those who are going to be coming to get trained and go work for themselves under their personal account. So the thing is, those who are external who come to get trained, you are going to make money only during their training. But once they leave, they aren't under your wing anymore. But then you have the internal students on whom you are going to be making money for a lifetime if possible, because they are going to get trained and later on work under you so you are going to keep making money of them so at this stage you might be raising eyebrows and maybe not understanding what I am talking about so let me break the internal structure for you further so this is what you're going to do so apparently the only difference between the internal and external students is the fact that the internal students will normally get an additional advantage over the external students once they go to the field this is because once they will be working under an agency their employers are going to be obliged to give them a set and respect and treat them fairly this is because the employers know that they actually come from a legit place so the fear of the unknown will be there and no room for maltreatment as a lot of people have reported no room for no receiving of salary as some employees always complain no room for maltreatment as some complain and also no room for breaching of a contract because they are going to be working on contract so all those advantages they have under you is a big plus loss for them which is something that the external students won't be benefiting from and that will go a long way to encourage most students to register as internal students under your organization so before we go to the next point please do well to like this video already and share it with your loved ones also do well to click the notification bell in order to receive all our videos all right this is because we've noticed from our statistics that most of our subscribers don't get notified of our 
videos so there is a way to remedy that okay you just go at the right bottom of this video and click the bell icon you see there next on at the top you're going to see all click the word all and you are going to definitely be notified of all our videos and it might interest you to know that we now have a clear schedule of when we are posting our videos so if you really want to keep up with africa today make sure to always tune on to the channel on tuesdays and thursdays also on saturdays and sundays so basically you can do this to memorize it easily all the t's of the week and all the s's of the week all right tuesday thursday saturday sunday and on tuesday and thursday we are going to be uploading at 8 p.m gmt and saturdays and sundays we are uploading at 2 p.m gm see and also we are going to be organizing live streams that we are going to be making on the channel at least once a month in order for us to exchange directly all right the reason why we've decided to embark on live streaming is the fact that at times some of you complain that you don't really get all the answers on our customer service line so when we come online that's the perfect opportunity for you to ask all your questions and they are going to be answered or attended to immediately and we also understand that not everyone is good at typing in the comment section and at times people have questions that they want to ask or things they would love to understand live streams are the perfect venues for such so we are going to be organizing live streams and we are going to be posting them on the community tab for you all to know exactly when so that said let's move on to the next point so the next business idea is very similar to the house help business idea and we are talking here of security guard training center or what we commonly call get men yeah so you are going to be training them as well and make money from it so this is basically the same way like the house helps you are going to be teaching them everything they need to know concerning their field and if possible you are going to be employing the right teachers for that and with such a business you know you're going to be needing tutors in boxing karate kung fu why not and even military training certified instructors who are going to train them how to use and manipulate a gun and many more and the security man business is one of those businesses where loyalty should be one of the values that are thought to them because when it comes to security men the highest thing an employer needs from a security man is loyalty all right there are lots of cases where houses have been robbed and at the end of the day it was discovered that the security guards of that home were actually accomplices so those are some of the things you should be tackling when you are training people in such domain now the third on our list is a house manager or a concierge as we call it in french if you don't know what a concierge or a house manager does this is that person that actually governs your home for you if you don't have the time to all right you know nowadays we work a lot we've got kids we've got our home to take care of basically home management as a whole so this is for those busy couples out there who are really busy with work and don't really have the time to sit and train their kids so what you could do as a compromise or a substitute is to get a house manager or a house concierge and let them know what you want your kids to become give them guidelines on how to train your kids and they are going to do that for you so a lot of Africans nowadays are in need of such services because like I always say unlike before where the women used to sit at home and take care of the kids and the family now women work equally so there's a need for a home or house manager in order to make sure that the house is always intact the kids are always intact everything is done at the right time and your home manager or concierge is also that person that is going to be managing other workers or other home workers if you've got them all right if you've got let's say a security guard a house help and all the like or a tutor for your kids the concierge or the house manager will be responsible for making sure that everyone does what they have to do at the right time so basically this person is responsible for doing what you were supposed to be doing as the supervisor of your home yeah that's the word i was looking for this person is acting as a supervisor in your home making sure everything is as you would want it to be all right so there's a need for such people in africa right now so if you also train concierge you are going to be making lots of money this takes us to the next on our list which is the training of daycare staff for 
kids yeah we are talking here of those who work in a daycare for kids all right or this is those who are going to be catering for people's kids so if you've got a training center where you train people to cater for people's children you are going to be making lots of money all right this is something that has always been in demand back in the days but is now higher in demand because of the reason i always give you that most african women nowadays go to work so they need people to take care of their kids for them so this is that business that you don't want to neglect in africa so i am going to be taking you to the fifth point which is very similar to this one there is a last strategy that i am going to be giving at the end of this video which is the bonus pro max yeah so stay tuned till the end of the fifth point to get this one all right i am purposely keeping it for the end because i want this to go only to my mvps to those real goal getters out there who always watch our videos till the end so i am going to be giving you that extra bonus pro max immediately after this point so this leads us to the fifth point which is a training center for nurses or caterers or caregivers for the elderly people yeah this point is like a compromise for those who didn't really agree with the idea of opening an institute for elderly people in africa yeah some people still have difficulty accepting such an idea so this is perfect for them because if there are nurses or trained personnel that people could hire in their homes to take care of their old ones or their parents they are going to definitely do it so this business is one of those businesses that i definitely think will do well in africa and you know already why for the same reason as others people don't have time anymore to stay at home and unlike before we don't have these uncles and aunties who used to be in our homes and take care of grandparents when the parents and the children go to school so grandparents are often left on their own and honestly i believe anyone will pay any amount of money to get a true trained personnel to cater for the appearance at home so this is one of those businesses that you should take very seriously if you want to make good money for yourself in africa so that said let's go to our bonus pro max so the bonus i have for you is the fact that you could actually merge all of these ideas into one business empire you could open a vast training center wherein you train people in all these different fields and make good money for yourself and remember i said you could do it in two options all right you could have the internal option and the external option and if you followed the video well you understand what i mean by internal and external option right so i hope you've learned a lot from this video and i hope you are now ready and set to embark in one of these business ideas or even all of them why not that said thanks for watching this video and i'll see you next